Hello and welcome to the channel. I am Wes, the Average Trainer, and this is battle number 14 of Battle Sember 2016. I almost said 2015 there. And I am battling against Yanko. 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 Something like that. Yeah. So, again, another bit of an. Oh, uh, <laughs> speaking. Can't speak. Words. Uh. A bit of an unorthodox team coming up with Salamence and Azumarill, but I really enjoy Azumarill. I think it is one of my favorites, even though I'm not a big fan of Meryl, because Azumarill always, always, always seems to beat me. I'm assuming that's not the case for this video, because I don't know if I would have saved it if somebody beat me, but Azumarill is a beast. Maybe I needed to save it because I actually beat an Azumarill, but as you can see, my Greninja is basically gone at this point. That Azumarill has its uh, Citrus Berry, so it gains some HP. Salamence is going away for the time being. He's bringing out Tyranitar, Mr. Titar himself. And obviously, Sandstream going to be a bit of a problem with the Sandstorm coming up with my Pokemon. Greninja obviously takes that not very well and decides to leave. Rock Blast isn't terribly effective against Azumarill, but again, with Skill Link, five in a row. You can't beat that. You really can't, especially since it already ate Citrus Berry. I don't know how long it's going to survive in the Sandstorm and against these two beasts, though. Thankfully, Azumarill takes a teeny tiniest bit of damage, so he's just right there on the cuff. Cusp. And gone. Awesome. Awesome. <clears throat> Good job, Past West. You took down Azumarill. Ice Glow Spear. Again, not the most effective, but... I gotta say, Skill Link, definitely one of my favorite abilities. I would never have used a clo Cloister before this, but Skill Link, heck yes I am. That's awesome. All right, so Salamence is coming back out. I believe Icicle Blast will be probably pretty effective. Probably. And then Brave Bird, I think, will take down, yeah, yeah, just that tiniest bit of HP on Tyranitar. So see ya, Tyranitar. I am glad we're out of the... Uh, period of uh, weather teams dominating everything because while I did use a weather team I never really felt that good about it because you know perma weather back in gen 5 was just annoying as all get out so anyway I bring out my mawile which is fairy type it's going to be a little bit difficult for his uh, salamence to beat that but Rotom, ooh, Rotom definitely one of my foes I don't really care for Rotom, except for the Rotom Pokedex. I think the Rotom Pokedex is pretty cool. But, I don't know. I've never really used a Rotom effectively, except for the Grass one. I use the Grass one in uh, tight battles. But, not not the biggest fan. Not not for any reason against it. I mean, it's a great Pokemon. I just, I don't know. Felt not that great. Overheat, though. Ah! 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 I took down my Mega Mawile. I just had to get that last little... Mm little punch right in my face. This is one of my longest battles so far, it looks like. And right now, it doesn't look very good for me. Especially when it can protect like that. That is annoying, because the sandstorm's still going on. Oh no, it's, it's subsided now. So thankfully, my cloister didn't take any extra damage there. I'm just hoping, hoping that Rock Blast is just enough. Just enough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, and a flinch. Man, if I didn't get that flinch, I would have... Oh, man. That, that was a good ending to this battle. Can't use Protect again, so boom, Rock Blast. That is by the skin of my teeth. If that Sandstorm had still been going on, I'd have been done. Thank goodness, no perma weather. Whew! Good job, Yanko. That was a sweet battle. That was, I think, one of my longest videos so far for Battle December 2016. So thank you for watching. Uh, Till next time, stay average. Goodbye.